Okay, so it is that time once again for the annual Dokkan Box Showcase of my free-to-play only account. We do this every single year, see how free-to-play has grown, and we look back at all the good times. Although 2020 was not the best year IRL, I can definitely say that 2020 for free-to-play in Dokkan Battle has been one of the best years in the lifespan of Dokkan Battle. And of course, we expect even more greater things in 2021, fingers crossed. Now, before we get into showcasing the box, I just want to note some cool things that Free-to-Play has done through 2020. Uh, one being we've done Goku's Family and Wicked Bloodline category Super Battle Roads. One of them being we've done Extreme Super Battle Roads, some of the type ones as well as the category ones. Very impressive. We've done every single Infinite History event. We've done LGE and now with multiple teams and also done LGE with no items. I think it is safe to say that other than Super Battle Road, you can clear everything in the game. We even got into the final battles of Ultimate Clash. Um, although I haven't done it specifically, I've seen other people complete it with a full free-to-play box, uh, such as the Brawly one and even the normal Jiren one. So with those achievements out of the way, let us let me show you guys what a free-to-play only box looks like. I have made a few categories in here that we'll go through. Um, and then the last one being how many 100% units that I have. So stay tuned. And of course, if you enjoyed this video at any point, make sure you like the video, comment down below for the algorithm, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Only 55% of the people that watch these videos are subscribed. So let's get that percentage a little bit higher. Let's jump to 60%. And as always, daily uploads on this channel. 2021, I do want to hit 100,000 subscribers. I uh, don't know how we're going to do it, but hopefully we can. I'm going to try my best. Anyway... Let's start off with the first tag, which is friend points. Nothing has really updated for the friend points. We haven't gotten a brand new LR for the friend point banner. We were expecting it to happen, but it has not happened. So we've stuck around with LR Great Saiyan Man, LR Hercule, and um, Androids as the only LRs. And of course, there's some random SRs, SSRs in there. Notable thing though, Hercule did get an easy A, so that was really good. And he's become a very solid unit to get. Although it does take a very long time. It, I think it takes like a month almost to get him to a full EZA status. So it's still worth it. It's just very time consuming, just like LRB Pan. I think the next category that I want to showcase is the Barbershop Gifts and Missions tab. Um, I've been starting with the with the 50th anniversary where you can purchase even uh, gifted SSRs. I used to not collect gifted cards such as like... Um, such as like the Tian Cha, that exclusive gifted card, and um, anniversary card specifically. But I think if they do what they did in the 5th year anniversary, I'm definitely going to be collecting them. These cards here are from anything from the barbershop, anything from getting from the missions, anything from uh, gifted from Dokkan Battle themselves. So we have like a thousand day Goku in there. I'm about 1.5k in, so I have 500 days to go. Uh, but I have been slacking on logging in every single day. So I could have been, I think, 1.6k, but uh, I have missed, I definitely have missed a few days. I love Vegito in here. Hopefully, these guys get some easy A's. I do not have like Super Battle Road Goku and Super Battle Road Gohan easy A status. Working on that, uh, Gohan's probably the closest. Uh, Goku is going to take a very long time, of course, and there's some, uh, of course, barbershop units that you all know because you can just quickly look and glance at the cards at any point in the time uh, by clicking on the exchange tab at the bottom right. But I think uh, the hidden ones are definitely a thousand head Goku, and then the I just wanted to update you guys on my Super Battle Royale Goku and Gohan uh, progress, which there has been none. <laughs> I still don't even have a dupe on Super Battle Road Goku, so until then, he's just stuck at 55%. I think in terms of all the barbershop units, I have them all 100% other than the Ultimate Clash guys. Uh, I only have the 55% uh, Mecha Freeze and King Cold. Uh, Cooler is 100%ed though. I'm working on getting uh, Ginyu Force 100%ed. They're two dupes away. And uh, Oob still working on that, but I believe I got him with an extra dupe in there, so that's really nice. And Barbity and Dabura are still not out uh, at this current moment on Global Dogun. Now, I also made another tag for drop units. This makes it easier for me to figure out what kind of teams I want to build when it comes to like uh, LR Prime Battles. If there ever is a new one that comes out, it's just a lot more easier to figure out uh, who's not able to be used and 
whatsoever and then I can always search and I can always go back to this tag and double check. Of course, if they are farmable, they are most likely 100%ed, excluding some of the SR cards that haven't got their awakenings yet because the hidden potential system is only restricted to URs and above. But yeah, I'm just going to scroll through this. There's 178 farmable cards on Dokkan Battle. It doesn't seem much, but I guess like half of it comes from Barbershop mission cards and etc. But yeah, these are all from farmable events, story quests. That's it, events. <laughs> And there is, I forgot to mention, 39 Barbershop Gifts and Mission Cards, excluding some of the Year Anniversary Cards and the Winning and Losing Cards, because I don't have every single one of those. This is, sometimes it's a Global and JP exclusive. Next, we will have a look at the Extreme Z tag. Um, I do have some units in here that are not Extreme Z Awakened at the moment, but I'm pretty sure we're close to the amount of extreme z area units that are on jp as well uh i'm trying to think on top of my head like i mean this bardock obviously is not extreme z awakened but he will be in the future i don't think there's any card that we are missing out from my memory i think these are all the extreme z awakened units that we can get so far so yeah we got 36 total eza units which is pretty cool i remember 2019 we only had like five <laughs> and of course the tier list for this has grown significantly i remember when um vegeta and goku were like the best ones to have and now they're like man they're like c tier at this point just because of how good the newer stuff have been uh since then let's move on to the world tournament category so these are from these are cards exclusive to when the world tournament is on um from the uh, gssr banners from the uh, global and local rewards as well as this as well as the DB Saga banner. I have every single card that you can get from the GSSR banner, uh, the DB Saga banner. I think I'm missing just, I think, uh, Muten Roshi for global specifically. I think that's the only one. And maybe Grandpa Gohan, if he's out right now, I forget if he's out or not. But yeah, those two are definitely the ones that I have not gotten. 100% uh, sure. But I've got every single um, GSSR card. Including the LRs, I've got even the Demon King Piccolo, which has only recently gotten to global. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of this. All of now all I have to do is try to 100% them all. It's very difficult. And um, yeah, I don't think I'm missing any local rewards at this point in time. So pretty good, pretty good. We got 81 cards in here. Not too shabby. Hoping uh, 2021 we can get some more Doken Awakenables. Uh, from the DB Saga banner, that would be great. But yeah, keep on awakening those World Tournament cards because they're actually very, very solid. Uh, the new ones that are coming out, uh, specifically. Now, the good stuff, the shiny ones, the LR status ones. You've seen some of them through the other tags, but putting them all together, we've got 27 whole LRs. And I think I'm only missing Dabura and Bubby because they're not out yet. I, and I'm pretty sure that is the only LR that is on JP that is not on Global. I might be mistaken, but it's looking really, really good here. Uh, we've got five physicals in there. We've got six STRs, five ints, uh, six techs, and five AGLs. Six AGLs, potentially. Um, so that looks really, really nice. Oh, and the Goku and Goran. That's also another one. I almost forgot about them. So we will potentially have seven uh tech units i do have the goku and Gohan on jp side so it is possible it just takes a long time to get 20 wins in total so it is very annoying but yeah um the who aren't 100 in in this box uh the tech ginyu and oob as well as the uh, uh super battle Royale cards that's always that's always a given and then Dabura and babidi and goku and gohan so yeah 100%. Oh, and also Bardock, because we cannot 100% them yet. I do have two dupes. I did the event, so still up to date and all that stuff. Cannot ever miss the opportunity of getting an LR on this account. Hopefully 2021, we could potentially see this guy easy A. Eh? I think this is the, this is here is my most proudest possession until, because the truth does not have this guy 100%. So this is the only card where I can be like proud of, you know? But everything else, the truth probably has <laughs> 100% plus. Yeah. 
Okay, so now it is that time, the 100% units, and how many do I have? I have 218 rainbow cards. Now, of course, there are people with more, and of course, I could potentially get more. But because of how I like to run my box, I'm more of a collector than an optimizer, I guess you could call it. Um, there's a lot of people that like to get, like, the SSR versions of the TUR because they have different names and then 100% them. And then put them as a 100% unit in their box to show how many they got. But I'm not like that. I don't like getting, like, separate cards because then it's just weird like that. And I'll show you why I don't do that. Um, there's also, I think I excluded some gift cards in here. I just like to put the ones that I'm guaranteed to be able to get again and again. Oh, actually, this is Blue Goku's here, but don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, but 218. I broke 200 this year, which was nice. Uh, nothing too crazy, not the most amount. But in terms of every single fumble card, I have got them 100%, so that's good. And that wraps it up. I mean, I have some pay-to-play cards. <laughs> I always do some random summons, so you'll just see some uh, random LRs and whatnot in there. And so, I want to finalize on why I don't farm the SSRs of like the t was and etc etc i like my box blacked out like this see i can't they're all trained to the max max sa everything like that every single card is max sa so it has this blacked out look and if i have uh, t was especially in the awaken page it looks like that it has like this one spot that you can click on it's kind of it's kind of ocd like i always like to explain like that like for the zamasu i actually farmed the zamasu t -UR because I need him for a super battle row. But other than that, like once I've done that with that super battle row, I really want to just barber him. But I just don't like the look of that. I just hate it. Like it will, he will never, unless I awaken him again, he will never be blacked out. He either disappears or he's staying like that forever, which is not what I want. So that's the reason why I do that. And that is my box showcase. It's nothing too fancy. I mean, you expected it. I just wanted to give you a cool update and if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Until then, check out all my social medias to keep up with me. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.